As we pause once more during this Lenten season to pray, we remember that prayer is a discipline of Lent. It seems a bit strange to think of it that way. Isn't prayer something that we ought to always be doing? Isn't prayer something that's just supposed to happen? And yet in many ways, we've never been taught how to pray or what prayer entails. It can be a challenge. Sometimes we don't know how to pray, what to pray for, and then how prayer is supposed to work. So rather than thinking about it as one more thing we ought to be doing as Christians, what if we heard it as an invitation from God to simply be in God's presence, a presence that fills us, that nurtures us, that renews us, for what we hear in Psalm 63 is, O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings, I sing for joy. My soul clings to you your right hand upholds me. That is the reality of who God is and who we are in relationship with God. Prayer is that invitation to pause and be intentional about that, to recognize that we do have this relationship with a God who knows our every thoughts, who is within our heart and who stands not only next to us, but within us to guide us, to comfort us and renew us. And even those times when we're not sure how or what to pray, we remember in the book of Romans where Paul says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The Spirit is there. So perhaps prayer is actually breath. We take in the breath that is God. The Spirit, let it fill us to our core. We breathe out to God those worries and concerns and fears. We breathe in, we breathe out. And in that breathing in and out, we pray. We pray so that we can be renewed day by day, moment by moment in this world as disciples of Jesus. I love those traditions that have those prayers throughout the day. The Episcopal have tradition has a daily prayer for all seasons in which they invite us to stop in the morning, mid-morning, noon, afternoon, the hours of prayer to reground ourselves, for this is our prayer. Merciful God, your strength and your courage carry us forth. You are the God of hope. From you come every blessing and all peace. Show us that in the midst of our struggles, you are with us. Give us the abundance of your grace that we may do the work you give us to do and that we may be for the world a sign of your presence through Christ, the way and the truth. Amen. Be renewed and strengthened. That is our prayer for the church, for us, for the world. And that is what God hears, and that is what God brings. Amen.